Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. To those of you who are new, my name is Zynga and this channel is all about healthy lifestyle, food and commitment. In today's video I'm going to talk to you about what happened, why I haven't been here for a while, what's going on and how far I am in my weight loss journey and yeah, if you want to know more, stay tuned. So this video is kind of my restarting point. What had happened during this period, um, unfortunately due to the COVID-19 I have lost my father-in-law. Um, I think I just had too much of everything um, over these past few months. If you are, if you have been following my journey, you probably know already that my grandmother died on July and now it's my father-in-law. My grandmother died not related to the COVID, but my father-in-law unfortunately yeah, it was due to COVID. It's horrible and I, it, until now, it just drives me crazy when people are not taking this thing serious because it's deadly serious. It's so, so serious. But yeah, I was, I was not dieting. I was not following anything because I couldn't even eat normally. So I ate whatever I felt that I can swallow. So again, it was a terrible grief period, obviously it still is because everything is just so fresh and it had to happen in a way that I just had a feeling like my bandage has been ripped off and yeah, it's, it's sad time and 2020 hasn't been a very easy year for any of us, but I don't want to talk about that too much, I want to try to recover and get myself out again. So let's talk about weight. What has happened with dieting during this period? As I said, I haven't been dieting and I did gain a little bit again. I had dropped after my trip to Latvia. I had dropped and I was two kilograms away from um, where I was when I went to Latvia. Then I gained again and now I'm back I'm actually 200 grams less than my lightest after my holidays. So today is kind of like my new beginning officially. I have been on keto now for about five days, so therefore I did lose uh, those um, two kilograms. I want to talk about how it happened and, and how how easy it was for me to get back into into dieting. Well, guys, it was not easy at all. Um, I tried and I kept trying and I kept trying and I kept trying and every evening I was just okay there's no point of it I'm just gonna eat whatever I feel eating because I, I just felt so sad and so miserable that I kept not um, being able to go back to dieting <sighs> what does keep people off the diet it's probably the um, not seeing the goal, etc. But yeah, this this is also one of the things. The grief is when you when you do not see point in your life, or the when you generally just don't feel doing anything for yourself because you just feel so sad and broken. And that's exactly what happened to me. And I just kept trying to get back to it, and just didn't happen. Didn't happen. Didn't happen until. Recently, until about five days ago, I woke up in the morning and I didn't have time to eat. And what happened? I kind of got in that mood, in that cycle of intermittent fasting. Therefore, straight away, my body accepted the fact that um, I'm not going to eat as much. And it was so much easier after having done that. Um, yeah, so it was, I just woke up, I, d I didn't eat until late because I didn't have time to eat and that's it. That's how it all ended. Uh, yeah, so now it's been four days. I've changed, I've updated, upgraded my gadget as well. I got this Fitbit Versa watch um, to count my steps because for some reason my Samsung was not doing the job correctly which keeps me motivated to do more physical activities. Uh, I want to say 
finally, for about three days now, I'm into ketosis, which is woohoo, brilliant. Guys, I just wanted to ask you something. Do you know, uh, I, I haven't done the research yet, but I definitely need to do it. Do you know how it works? Why in the evening, for example, I'm in like proper good ketosis and then in the morning I wake up and let's say in the morning, uh, uh, in the morning, no, in the evening, I'm 1.9 and I wake up in the morning and I'm 0 0.6. If I haven't eaten, if I have been fasting, why does it, why the difference? Well, most probably I will try to figure out myself and, and then I will answer the question myself. But if you know the reason, could you post in the comment section below, why is it happening like that? Um, yes, yeah, so what I'm going to do and what I'm doing. I'm back into ketosis, I'm back on track, I'm back on exercising. And yeah, let's keep this thing going. It's Monday today and it should be and it is my way in day. And I am exactly the same as I was yesterday morning, 200 grams lighter than two weeks ago. But that's with all the going up and, go and coming down. It does look like my weight is moving again. So I will keep going and we'll see where it will take me. I haven't done the measuring. I will be doing measuring um, next week because I think I kind of want to get back to that point where I was before my holiday. Also, the school has started. So therefore I'm getting more exercise again because of the school run and then on my way back from school I'm trying to walk around a little bit more just to get some more steps in guys if you are doing the step challenge and step counting can you tell me how many steps a day are you doing I'm currently um, trying and doing about 10,000 steps are you doing more or how does it work for you um, yeah, don't feel lazy. <laughs> don't feel obliged, but if you could comment in, this, in the comment section and just tell me about what exactly are you doing. My last video was about how to stay motivated. And you know, guys, I'm again going back and checking out my videos about how I keep motivated. And also, I'm going back to my co-youtuber channels and watching their videos because as I as I said in the previous video we did it as a co collaboration video um, where all of us were sharing the information about how we're staying motivated and um, I'm just going back and checking their videos again just to get my mind going but I will have to say you know what helped me starting doing it again um, yeah, checking out Instagram pictures, Instagram accounts on how people are doing the progression pictures, like before and after pictures, really, really, really have done a favor for me. Even my own pictures of before and after. Talking about those, I yesterday took, pic um, took some pictures. Um, me and my friend, we went for a big walk and I had to push the buggy up the hill and my legs today are mm, a bit sore. <laughs> it was painful. And I did take some pictures there and I was shocked about what I saw. In my mind somehow, I kept seeing myself a little bit smaller, but then when I saw the pictures, I was like, oh my God, I'm still so massive. But then when I look at the pictures that I'm taking, like as a selfie kind of mode, I, I look so much smaller and I'm now trying to figure out how people are seeing me like live, not not on screen, but like live. Um, yeah, I'm wondering how people are seeing me because I understand that if I take a selfie, it could be that I'm tilting the camera or I'm showing my best angle and turning. Just, but it's just so confusing about the actual situation if if it makes sense um yeah so progression pictures is definitely a must for everyone so therefore as i said i've been uh looking at other people pictures and my own pictures 
and I need to start doing it again well yeah so this is going to be my kind of stepping point as I would say it'll be week zero and then next week will be week one so I might take measures later on today just to have something to look back for I really hope that this will be in for a long time that this is going to be like one of my last um, restarting points because I've had enough for this year seriously guys seriously I've had enough I just want my life to get going and try to get in some kind of normal self so that's what I'm going to do I have bought a new planner like calendar type of thing to keep myself motivated I'm gonna write a list of things that I need to do and I'll do everything to fulfill them I had a lot of time to think I had a lot of time to try to understand things and unless I will do it no one else will do it for me so I'm very very ready to get back to some kind of normal Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to press the like button. If you haven't done it already, press the subscribe. Once you have done that, if you uh, press the bell button so you get notified about any of my upcoming videos. I will see you on my Wednesday's video. And bye!